Did you know that some methods to assemble your instruments can actually cause some serious damage to your instrument if it's not done correctly? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to correctly and effectively put together your clarinet. So I've been playing for 13 years and I did not know how to put my instrument together correctly until I went to college. I promise it was until I went to college that I learned how to do it right. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the parts of the instrument. Um, we're going to be going over the names so that you're able to effectively like know what joint is which and what are the names and also putting on the reed and the mouthpiece and the ligature. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open the case. This is the lower joint. This is going to be the longest piece of the clarinet. This is the bell. This is the barrel and this is the upper joint. This has a couple of pieces. So first, this is the mouthpiece cap. It is used for storage and to protect the mouthpiece. This is your mouthpiece. This is the ligature and this is a reed. This particular reed I don't play on anymore. I just keep it on my mouthpiece for storage. So if you do play on a reed, um, just make sure you do not store it like this because that's like a little bit gross. Um, so the first thing we're gonna grab is the bell. It looks like this. And then the second piece we're gonna grab is the lower joint. So the lower joint is the part of the instrument that is a bit longer. So in case you get it confused with the upper joint, the lower joint is always gonna be the longer piece. So here's what you're gonna do. You are not gonna like grab the keys like this. That's a big no-no. When you're putting the pieces together, it is very important to not, you know, crush any of the rods or the pads or the keys because your keys will bend, I promise you. I have done this a couple of times when I was in elementary school, middle school, and high school, and I've had to take my clarinet to get fixed multiple times. So here's how you do it without damaging the instrument. So you're gonna go ahead and place your fingers like so, as if you are playing the instrument. So you're gonna hold it like this, and then you're gonna go ahead and connect these two pieces together. Another thing is you do not wanna twist them together because that will wear out the cork. Also, your cork will fall off. That's happened to me before too. <laughs> so what you wanna do is gently, instead of twisting, you're gonna push them together like so. Push them just like that. And then we have the first two joints connected. Here is how our clarinet looks so far. And the next piece we're gonna grab is the upper joint. So your upper joint should look just like that. And just like with the lower joint, you do not wanna bend any of these keys. So whenever you're putting your clarinet together, do not like grab it and just, <clears throat> you know what I mean? So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and place your fingers gently on top as if you're playing. And then you're gonna wanna be careful not to connect them so that they're gonna like, you know, run, to, run into any of the keys. So make sure you straighten it just like this. And then same thing, you're gonna gently push them together. Do not turn or twist, you're just gently gonna push them. Just like that. Also, pro tip, you see how like it didn't glide all the way through? If that happens, you never wanna force your joints together because your cork will fall off. And another, you know, component is that you could also break it again. So what you wanna do is use cork grease. So cork grease looks like chapstick. You could get it at your local music store. So do not ever force your joints together. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just put a little bit of cork grease on just so that it glides a little easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put kind of a generous amount just because I know my instrument's tendencies and the middle joint, she just needs a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and place our fingers here. And then we're gonna gently push it together. Sometimes you can use the top here. Gently push it together. And then here's what we have so far. The next piece we have is the barrel. Looks like a cute little barrel here. And then same thing, we're gently gonna push it. Do not twist, gently push it in. Just like that. And then the last piece is our mouthpiece. So this is the mouthpiece of your instrument. And I know my mouthpiece tendencies is I have to shove them together. So again, I'm gonna use some cork grease because I do not want my cork to break. Just put a generous amount on there. Again, this is a brand new mouthpiece, so I'm having to use cork grease whenever I put it on. So then we gently 
push it together. See how I glided? So here is what we have so far. Next, we are going to be putting our reed on the instrument. So it is very important for you to make sure that you have some moisture in your reed. I always just pop it in my mouth when I'm putting my instrument together because that is necessary in order for it to play. So after we get it nice and moist, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place your reed on the mouthpiece and you're gonna wanna put it like right under. We wanna align it up to the mouthpiece. You don't wanna put it like too high. You don't wanna put it too low where you're able to see a gap. You're gonna wanna align it so that it's perfectly centered like this. And also, I don't know if you could tell with my mouthpiece, there's a little line there. Usually mine aligns like with the reed, dependent on what type of mouthpiece you have. So then the last step would be to apply the ligature. So everyone's ligature is different. Um, I'm using the Van Doren ligature. So what you're gonna do, mine is already kind of loose. Make sure you loosen it up. You're gonna go ahead and slide it right on. So um, like that little line we talked about earlier, you're gonna wanna align that ligature up to your little line, and then go ahead and tighten it just enough so that it's not gonna fall off. You don't wanna tighten it too tight and get it stuck. That's happened to me before too. And it should look a little bit like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and like and subscribe and drop any questions or comments you have about the clarinet. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you in the next one.